well. Joining me now to talk some more about this story, Ian Williams, CEO of Charteris, who manages the City Financial Strategic Guild Fund, the best performing fund for British government bonds. So, first of all, what did you make of market reaction to the budget? <coughs> Both the pound and gilts rose off the back of this announcement from the Chancellor. A little bit. I mean, the gilt market rose uh, when he started speaking, then it fell a bit, and then it, then it went back again. So. Um, it didn't really move very much, so I suspect we'll see the real reaction over the next day or two. Fitch Ratings said that the budget plan would ensure that the UK keeps yeah. its AAA credit rating. Are investors like yourself satisfied with this? Yeah, I mean, I think that was one of the aims of the budget, to make sure that the uh, uh, gilts didn't get downgraded in any way. And uh, there was nothing in the budget yesterday that would, uh, would be uh, cause a downgrade. So, yeah, I mean, that was, it's achieved one of its objectives. Do you think the spending cuts themselves are realistic, achievable? <coughs> well, they're eye-watering. I mean, we're not going to know till the October spending review comes out mm. uh, exactly the shape of them. But 25% cuts in a, in a whole range of government de uh, departments um, is something that um, certainly Mrs Thatcher never achieved under her government. Uh, and it's going to be quite interesting to see how they intend to achieve these and equally interesting um, to see whether it's possible to, to get there. It's going to be tough to achieve. And what do you think fiscal tightening on this level could mean for economic growth in the UK? Um, well, they've downgraded the growth forecast down to 1.2%, which is probably realistic. They, uh, they're spreading the pain. We've mm. been very careful to spread it out over f four years. I mean, I think it's quite a clever budget. I mean, if you take the VAT, right, that's been deferred till January. Mm. Well, if it's an ultra tough budget, it would have been brought in immediately. But by deferring to January, one of the little quirks is that there's a VAT rise that drops out of the, uh, the inflation indices uh, in January. This puts it back in so they can get away with the uh, VAT rise without affecting the inflation indices too much. So it, 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 it's a clever budget. I mean, and, and p politics is the art of the possible. And bear in mind, this is a minority government. He's probably got as much out of this as, as it's possible to achieve. So how are you then positioning yourself? Well, all the bond markets, the uh, gilt market, the US Treasury market, the bull market, have all had quite a decent rally in the, mm. la the last few weeks. Mm. Um, the fact that the Treasury market and the bond market didn't rally, in, which had nothing to do with the UK budget, um, suggests that the gilt market rally in, in, in a large part is just part of an international uh, bond market rally. We're uh, short of duration, and the first time in a year we've started to write covered call options on our gilt portfolio. I mean, do you think spending cuts on this level, tax rises, sucking billions of pounds out of the economy at a time of, of economic, well certainly when the, the recovery is very fragile, was necessary. We've heard a lot about the UK maintaining its financial credibility in the markets and yet UK government bonds outperform both their US and German counterparts after the May 6th general election. Mm. Yes, that's partly because mm. they'd, they, they'd underperformed before, uh, because the result of the election was unknown. So a lot of that was just a, a rebounding effect. Um, can they? Can all this? Can they get through this without pushing it back into recession? It's going to be a close-run thing. I think mm. they possibly can if they target the cuts in the right direction. A lot of government spending is wasted. I mean, this government spends, the previous government spent what 650 billion pounds. Mm. So cutting two billion here and two billion there, which are, and the, the sort of stuff, if it's done properly, they can get away without causing too much damage. Ian Williams, CEO of Charteris, thank you so much. Appreciate your thoughts.